Hi YouTube family, welcome into the video which I'm going to be showing you my morning skincare routine. Later on, I will be bringing you my nighttime skincare routine. My morning skincare routine has changed quite a bit lately and I thought that I would share with you. As I was doing this and I was in such a hurry to get it done, because you guys, I am moving, so I'm trying to pre-record several videos ahead of time so that I don't skip a week or anything as we're going through all that. That's why I look a little bit yellow. That's why the background's yellow because all of my backgrounds and everything is taken away. But I regress as I'm talking. I do wear sunscreen and I forgot to put it on in the video. I put it on as I was starting to do my makeup and you know, then let it sit and whatnot, but I don't know how in the world as I'm doing this video, I forget that sunscreen is almost the most important part of your daily skincare routine. I wear Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen in SPF 100 plus. I wear this every day. I wear it on anything that's going to be exposed on my body, you know, whether it's face, decollete, hands, arms, whatever. I wear this stuff and I really like it. I am getting ready to try three new um, sunscreens that I have heard really good things about. So I will let you know about those. So let's get right into my AM skincare so you can see what I do use be prepared, it's not a good sight because you know, all of this ain't going on. We're just all or nothing, right? We're off on whatever. Okay, we're gonna get into it right now, you guys. Okay, you guys, mornings are a tough time for me because I'm trying to wake up and whether or not my body is gonna cooperate and not feel too bad for the morning, that's kind of where I'm at. But the first thing I do, of course, is I brush my teeth and then I go into my skincare because I want my skincare to sink in before I have to do my makeup. This routine that I'm gonna show you, I have adopted recently because I have found that the more I put on my face in the morning, the more chance that my makeup might look cakey or too thick or something like that because you're putting layer upon layer. So I'm just kind of, you know, going through this and really enjoying what I'm doing right now. So I have this Big Mac Daddy of Purity Made Simple and I have had it forever. I love getting this off of QVC because when I actually break this down, it doesn't really cost a lot more than the ones would if you just got them in the small ones at the drugstore or um, off of Sephora or Ulta. So I just take a small pump of that because what I'm gonna be using it for is to take off any excess of my eye makeup from the night before. And I just gently rub that on there. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is also from Philosophy. I'm gonna take the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash. This one has granules in it. So now I would normally use this on a damp face. So I would kind of splash some water on my face. But since I'm in my makeup room and I don't have any of that, I'm just gonna use the Kopari Coconut Rose Toner. It's just a really nice spray that I got last year on Elta's 21 Days of Beauty. I wish they would have had it again. I would have gotten it. So I just take um, about the size of a, I don't know, a, a nickel maybe, and I rub it between my fingers and I go ahead on that damp face. And this does foam up a little bit, which is really nice, but don't get too crazy with this if your skin is sensitive because this is a pretty good exfoliator. It does have... Um, those fine gran granules in it. If you've ever tried Kate Somerville's Exfolicate or if you've ever tried Dr. Brandt's, it's a lot like both of those. I always take my skincare all the way down my neck. I didn't really wear a shirt for this today, but I'm gonna go all the way down my neck and do all of that down on the decollete. And then I'm gonna just make sure that I go all over the place and get everything exfoliated with a warm washcloth. Now, I won't exfoliate with this uh, micro wash every day. I only do this probably three times a week because you can over exfoliate your skin and you don't wanna do that. And then go in and splash your face with water to get off all those little granules. And then I actually take a clean towel and kind of, you know, sweep my face lightly to just make sure all those granules are gone so that um, my skin doesn't have any, you know, any roughness as I'm doing the rest of my skincare. Okay, you guys, so to me, this is the star of my show in the morning. This is the Thank You Farmer Miracle Age Repair Toner. 
This was recommended um, to us all by the um, lovely Penny from Penn Smith Skin Care. She is an advanced esthetician and she knows her stuff. And so when she recommended this and I could really, you know, afford it, go on Amazon, get it, I was like jumping on that bandwagon big time. So the ingredients in here are outstanding and I'm not going to be able to read them all to you because this is like a multi-purpose, super high, wonderful, concentrated, tons of ingredients in skincare. It comes in this big huge bottle too. It's like five plus ounces on there. So that's a pretty good value I would say because you get one ounce in a lot of other things. So if you add it up like say you're using the buffet and you got one ounce and it's like $14 and you times that by five, it's uh, it's more than this. Okay, so I'm gonna, just gonna really quickly read you some of these ingredients because this is fantastic. Okay, niacinamide is something that we all known about. It's kind of been the it product for a while. Helps brighten the complexion, lighten dark, sp dark spots, calms inflammation and supports healthy collagen production. The other ingredient that's listed right on the top is metal foam sea oil. I had never heard of this one. This one is supposed to help smooth your skin and offer antioxidant properties. We know that um, those free radicals that we come in contact, contact with every day help age our skin. So if we can put an antioxidant in there as a barrier, or we're way ahead of the game and we you know, help fight our aging process. And then the one that I was really excited about the ingredient in here is aden adenosine. adenosine. I'm just gonna read it from right here. Yeast derived ingredient that functions as a good soothing and skin restoring agent. Adenosine has proven anti-wrinkle benefits due to its ability to energize skin surface so it looks smoother and younger. Naturally present through the body, adenosine is a beneficial ingredient for all skin types. So you can use that no matter what your skin type is. If you have sensitive skin, if you have dry skin, oily skin, whatever, this is a good one. So I use two pumps to do my whole face. I get into the eye area too and my neck. But I don't stop there because if I feel like I don't have enough, I'll put one more pump in my hand, finish off the decollete, and then take the rest of the skincare up my arms and on my hands for sure. That's one of the things that I love. Now I've been doing my ears lately. Have you guys been doing your ears at all with your skincare? Because I look at people sometimes and their skin looks great, but their ears look old. Have you guys ever noticed that? I don't know, maybe I'm just being weird. Okay, so this is a really good product. Miracle Age from Thank You Farmer and Thank You Penny for from Penn Smith Skin Care. If you guys haven't checked her out, I'll put her information down below. She is a wealth of knowledge for us all. You definitely have to go. Now, I have been using from, um, it's DRMT, LGY, they actually don't spell out dermatology. This is their brand. They sent me this. This is their age reverse, reverse neck cream. I'm using this right now to um, try it out and I've been really curious about it because right now as I'm losing weight, I'm noticing my skin on my neck is wrinkling like crazy and starting to sag. Do I notice a big difference? I've been using this I probably have like a third of a bottle left. So, you know, I've been using it quite a while, morning and night. I haven't noticed a huge difference yet, but I do test these kind of products out for you guys. And at the end, I always let you know what I think about them. Um, I will tell you what I think about this one. It's in my one of my empties. That company also sent me the Age Reverse Eye Cream from them. Again, I've been using it morning and night. I only use about that much, which is just a tiny dot. And it, this is actually very thin consistency, so I don't mind putting it on in addition to my other serums. Whenever I do my eye cream, I always do my upper lip. Do you guys do that? And try to, you know, just spread it around a little bit. And then something I talk to you guys about almost every single time I talk about skincare is the Sukayaka Suhara Urea eye cream. This one is almost gone. I've got a backup already. I love this stuff, you guys. I am pretty generous with that. I do a lot more than I did on the serum. Once it sinks in and once it is there, it is going to provide you so much moisture throughout the day and I absolutely love it. And again, I do the top of my lip. And now this is different because 
I use creams normally in the winter, but this summer I was finding that I was sweating so much from having the surgeries and, you know, just kind of trying to purge my body of all that medication they put in there so I could feel like the toxins were coming out. I was sweating. So it was hot, humid also, but I used the Sukoyaka Suhara Urea Moisture lotion. This is not exactly a lotion. I would consider it more of an essence because it comes out in a water form. But you guys, this is all I use for my last step for my moisturizer. It does the job. I just pat it in and it creates this wonderful, wonderful moisturizing plumping effect that you get that you really need before you put on your makeup sometimes i'll put a moisturizer on that does absolutely nothing absolutely nothing you know and then i'll feel my face right before i put my makeup on i'll be like where did all my moisture go that i needed you know to plump up my face this one will not disappoint you so light so if you have oily skin they do have a cream an actual cream but if you have oily skin this might be a really good friend to you because I know you guys, when we talk about, you know, dry skin, we're always talking about, you know, how I can get more moisture, how I can get more moisture. But if you have oily skin, this might work really well for you too, because it's so light. It is essence like, and it's just great. And this does not like interfere with any of the other products that I put on. So even though I used two different um, toners, I used one for the eye and then one for the face, even though I did that and, you know, even on the neck, I did an extra one. Even though I did that, this one will definitely not interfere with any of your other, you know, treatments that you've been, that you have had on there. It just will help keep your moisture all day long. I love it. Plays so well under foundation. And if you have puffy eyes at all, let's say, you know, you get up, you had a ball fest the night before. Let's say you're just prone to puffy eyes. This tool right here is a germani germanium roller. This rolls by itself individually and I will just take it after all my skincare and oh my goodness, you guys, this is so cooling and it feels so good. And you can do it up above here on your orbital bone. And I'm telling you that just feels fantastic. And not only does it feel fantastic, but it's going to help depuff and move that lymphatic system around your eyes so that your eyes aren't puffy at all. So if you've had a, you know, a bad night where you didn't get much sleep and you wake up and you're like, oh, I don't feel like I look very good. I just use this and I don't use it for a long time, just a few seconds um, to really, you know, kind of wake up my face, make me feel like I've done a really something extra for my skin. Now I know a lot of you work, so this is not something that you can maybe work into your schedule, but if you can, it's just an added benefit and I love it. Okay, that is it you guys for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy it. Great skincare leads to pretty makeup. Don't forget that, don't skip your skincare. And I love to splurge on skincare, whereas I might go to the drugstore for all of my makeup. Um, and splurge occasionally there. I splurge first on my skincare and then occasionally go into drugstore makeup like there is the exception. That would be the ordinary because their skincare is fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing that. I would love to have you here as a part of our family. That is it. I hope everyone is doing very well. I love you all so much and I'll catch you all in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.